Hello, welcome back to another episode of Young Runaway, episode 10. I'm not going to lie, this is an episode I have been very excited about because this is the episode where it's going to get real. They're going to get married. So uh, I'm going to give Ava a bit of a makeover because she's been sporting the uh, the short blue hair for a while. And, you know, they're still young, like they're going to be a young married couple. We saw in my last Let's Play, I had ageing off anyway. So, you know, mentally she's wise beyond her years. <laughs> But, um, yeah, we're going to have the wedding day. So right now it's 5 a.m. on Tuesday. I'm going to try and do it today. In fact, actually, this is another thing I should have thought about was making sure it doesn't clash with any of um, Jamie's classes. So that class doesn't start for two days. That class is in ten hours. That class is in two days. Hmm. So first things first, I'm going um, I'm going to plan their little wedding looks. Which, to be honest, is one of the things I was mainly excited about. <laughs> okay, so let's just add a new formal wear. Could do that look. I mean, it is snowing right now, so it could be a winter theme wedding. <laughs> I actually really love that dress. I think it's so pretty. It's so Elsa from Frozen. Lots of choice. Too much choice. Quite like this one. Yeah, I think it's going to be this one for Jamie. Uh, I want to give her a little pink ribbon because I don't think Ava's dress is going to be white. She can wear like a pinky sort of coloured dress. Okay, now on to the finer details. Give us some more luscious lashes. Yeah, some nice pink pearls. Oh yeah, very nice, very nice. Just some little studs. Don't want to overdo it with the with the jewellery. That's quite pretty. I am going to be utilising the hairstyles you get with the uh, rustic romantic pack though. Maybe something like that. That's quite nice. Oh yeah, Jamie can wear a little veil. Perfect. Well, then we just have to do a couple more accessories and then she's ready to get married. Let's give Jamie some nice nude nails. Yeah, perfect. Well, there's Jamie's wedding look. And now on to Ava. I'm going to give Ava this dress just because I personally really like it. I don't know whether to do pink or white, though. I think I will put her in white. Why not? She can have that necklace. Now this is a conundrum because I know what hairstyle I want to give her. I want to give her the hairstyle from um, this one, the Romantic Pack, but I also want to change her hair colour. And I don't know whether to change it so that she has brunette hair or whether she goes back to her roots of being blonde. See, she was blonde when she was a babe, but I don't think she wants to be blonde. Like, she's not... I feel like, if anything, she would choose to go brunette. Or would she rather keep her blue hair? Oh, decisions, decisions. I think we're going to go for dark brown. I might change my mind, but <laughs> that's what I think we're going to go for. So there we go. There are their wedding outfits. Oh, although that's now changed Ava's everyday. Because I changed her hair colour, that's changed her everyday hair. Hmm. All right, outfits done. Oh, it feels very strange seeing Ava without her blue hair now. Right, let's plan this. Jamie's got class in nine hours. <laughs> so she's going to be leaving our wedding like halfway through. <laughs> okay, guess. We'll invite Lucy. We'll invite our parents, our uncle, our grandparents. Well, our grandparents taken on quite a, a new look for himself. <laughs> Always wearing a Santa hat, shades and a beard. Okay, fine, suit yourself. And Jamie's fucking dad, even though he's a dickhead. We'll hire a caterer. We'll hire a mixologist. We'll hire a musician. Yeah, we'll do all of those things. We could get married at the Cock and Balls Inn. No, this is where we're going to get married. We're going to have an outdoor wedding in winter. <laughs> right, we're not wearing these dresses. We're getting changed into our formal outfits. Perfect, perfect. Right, well, first things first... Let's, let's do the wedding part and then we can have some drinks and have some food. If I could do a wedding again, I would actually quite like something like this. I don't even care that it's outdoors and it's snowing. It's so pretty. I love the snow. That's it, guests. Gather round, sit on the benches. Where's Ava? Is she coming? Is she turning up? Or are we just marrying ourselves right here? All of this wedding stuff I got with the Rustic Romance uh, pack, which I did a separate video on, um, which is a fan-made custom content pack. So pretty. Ava, I'm not being funny, but you've got a bride at the altar. Don't leave her there. Go and get married. 
Yeah, now you've got some sense of urgency. Run, run. Oh, look at the way they're looking at each other like two princesses look. Oh, guys, I'm getting teary-eyed. I'm getting teary-eyed. I don't know what true love is if it isn't this. <laughs> Ava's getting cocky. <laughs> Ava's kind of gone a bit cross-eyed, but never mind. <laughs> Aww. All right, well, now that they're married, let's get to the bar. <laughs> Did you see the way Lucy just fell over then? Oh, she's already been to the bar. Right, let's go and get a drink. Also, I didn't put an oven in here, so uh, hopefully we can still cut the cake. Oh, it's Winterfest tomorrow. Oh, great news. Great news indeed. Woohoo in Lighthouse. I've got to see this in action. I have to. How are they going to woohoo in the Lighthouse? <laughs> Ava just fell over. Oh, there's the Lighthouse. What are you up to, eh? What are you doing? Oh, it's your wedding day. You're allowed to be naughty girls on your wedding day. <laughs> I like the animation. <laughs> I can't even see the wedding venue anymore, though. That's, that's the problem. Okay, don't worry, everyone. I found my way back. Found my way back to the wedding venue. Right, it's freezing cold. Let's see if we can warm ourselves up with a bit of dancing. I don't know if this is even going to work, though. Because it's... Although I've put a shelter on top of it, you never know. Hopefully it works okay. <laughs> you know, I think it's time to do, it's time to slow dance. It doesn't matter that there isn't any music on right now. DJ's on his way. Let's have a little dance. Is the DJ here yet? <laughs> Everyone's like running for their lives. And here we are, just, that woman just gave us a real evil look. She must be homophobic. Oh, Jamie's class is in one hour. Right, well, Jamie's going to have to ditch this soiree. <laughs> so that she can go to uni but you know she's got to go to uni so she can make that dollar dollar but that's fine wasn't really sure what happened there let's see what tess is up to oh of course that's what tess is up to she's looking very glamorous let's go and thank our mum for taking the time to come and see us get married hopefully she's proud still looks good still looks good I'm not sure how old Tess would be now. My guess would be like in her early 50s. And she still looks banging. Should she still go to school? Yes. Yes. Still go to class. We'll hold the fort without you. It's fine. It was nice having you here. Nice for you to pop by to get married quickly. But uh, don't worry about it. Why is there a kid at our wedding? We didn't invite kids. Let's uh, practice a bit of piano. Learn how to make some sweet, sweet music. Maybe we'll write Jamie a little song. I don't remember doing anything with Ava's singing skill, but somehow she's a really good singer. I think maybe she gets it from her mother. Same place where she got those massive jugs. Oh, our dad just gave us some money. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> Give relationship advice. <laughs> nah, we'll be nice. Jamie put in enough work to get a decent grade. Though she saw some other... Da -da -da. With Jamie's back, she can come here. Oh, wedding complete. We got a gold medal. That's good. Great news. Jamie will be right over. I wonder if she'll be still wearing her wedding dress <laughs> by that point, or whether she would have got changed. No, nope, she got changed. Let's make some snow angels. Really embrace the winter spirit, you know? That's what I'd want to be doing if I was wearing a wedding gown in the snow <laughs> and have some random person shovel some snow on me while I'm doing it. I've just noticed... Ava's got something weird going on with her feet. I think she's wearing some socks. <laughs> Either that or she's still wearing her, like, Doc Martin-style boots. Ooh, travel the docks. Does that mean we get to go in the boat? What does that mean? Do we get to go on a little trip? That's exciting. Travel the docks, okay. I've never travelled the docks before. I don't really know what that means. Does it mean it's just going to give me the option to go somewhere, or what? It's the happiest hour at all for Cheapskate Sims. Everyone enjoys drinks at a discounted price. Oh, okay, so travelling the docks just means it takes us onto the mainland, which is where you've got the Salty Paws Saloon Bar. Oh, that's cute, little kid. I don't know who Benjamin Thompson is. Oh, I think that's, uh, that's Jamie's sister. Well, you know what? Forget the fact that we're wearing... Let's go and have some drinks then. A discounted order happy hour drink. Yes, please. Yes, please. We'll have some zebra fizz, why not? It's our wedding day. Little post-wedding drink. Why not? Why not? You need a drink after spending the day with your family, to be fair. I get that. I understand. 
I'm starting to come around to uh, Ava's hairstyle now. I found it really odd when I first made it brunette. And I was really undecided about what to do. But actually, yeah, I'm coming around to it. I quite like it. A lot more elegant, I think. Which isn't really the definition of our girl. But, you know, it's good to try and be classy every now and again. Okay, well, I think perhaps we should go home and, uh, you know, consummate the wedding. Well, we're back home. It's been a beautiful day. And right now, it's about to get even more beautiful. It's love making time. Wearing our sexiest pyjamas. <laughs> With the most alluring ducky print all over the, uh, the blouse and the matching shorts. What a perfect atmosphere for consummating the marriage. <laughs> and that, folks, is what you call a happy ending. Except it's not ending. We, uh, we still have a while to go with this Let's Play yet, so don't worry. <laughs> but with that, I think I am probably going to end it here. So uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.